how do you secure your frontal wigs without any glue, gel or tape? I will be showing you our updated elastic band method on two wigs. You cut your elastic band to your head measurement size. Once you have that, you will sew the band at the edge of your frontal. So make sure that it is at the edge of your frontal, leaving just a little, little, less than half an inch of space. This is the most important part of you making sure that you have a glueless frontal. So many people are showing you to sew it a bit further down, but this is not correct because you will still need to apply glue, gel, tape for you to secure your wig. If you sew it at the edge, you will not need to do this. So sew it on at the edge and then you're going to do the same for the other side. Remember that when you're sewing over to the other side, make sure that you bend the lace so that you're sewing in like I'm showing you now. I've just finished filming how I tinted this lace. That should be out soon. One of our viewers, Maria Anna, this video is made for you. She asked several questions regarding to the first elastic band method that I showed in our video. I will insert it over here for you. Her question was that does she have to put the band on top of the wig? And she said it was still sliding off. The reason why Maria, that your wig is gonna slide off is simply because you are sewing the band in the wrong position. If you sew the band right at the edges, like you can see me doing over here, then your wig would not come off. And I can only do this just simply because I sewed it right at the edges of your lace frontal. That's the key to making sure that you have a glueless lace wig. Maria's question is very common and we received so many comments regarding that elastic band video. That is the reason why I made an updated version for you so that you can see how it's done again, but with one type of wig, rather than a lace frontal and a lace closure wig. So now you should be more confident in you having a glueless wig. Comment below and tell me what is the most common problem that you're having with your lace wig. And I'll make a video for you like I did for Maria. Subscribe to our channel 
if you would like more tips and tricks on how to care for your wig. Remember, this is the only channel purely dedicated to lace wigs. I just look for the clips or should I say the um, the comb sorry I just put the comb in you can add more combs onto your wig if you need to for extra secure but I don't bother nicely it's not gonna push back it's gonna stay in place and if you want you can move it around either way you want this wig is set for a center parting but I'll show you if I wanted to move it around I could just move it around and I'll move it back to the center because it is I've set it for a center parting but this is a free parting wig but we've just styled it in the centre parting. And I can shake it, it's not going anywhere, it's not moving, it's not going backwards. It's very, very secure. <laughs> 